Okay. All right, so welcome everybody. <clears throat> Good to see everyone. My favorite group. I'm not supposed to have favorites, but I do. Um, okay, so we're gonna start. We're gonna have a strap today. So if you have a yoga strap, we're gonna put it together. Um, someone was asking earlier about the size. So mine is 10 feet and I find it a bit long. So I think eight feet is good if you're planning on ordering one. Um, I think six feet's too short. But if you don't have a yoga strap to use today, that's okay. You can be creative and use a bathrobe belt or a dog leash or whatever. Um, Oh, speaking of dogs, we're missing Dawn today um, to check in with her. So anyway, have your strap handy. You don't need it yet. And we're going to start laying down on your back. So get comfortable. If you want to put something under your head, you can. If you want to put a blanket underneath your body to find a little more softness, you can. Oh, someone's coming in. Oh, Lisa. Lisa being late. Lisa, you're late. Oh, someone else is coming in? Hold on one second, sorry. Everybody in? Hi, Lisa, you're late. You're disruptive. <laughs> All right. Is everybody good? We're starting. All right. Laying down on your back. And just take a few moments to, to settle in and settle down. Relaxing the body, just finding a nice comfortable position to be in. Feel the support of the floor beneath you. Begin to breathe a little bit deeper than you normally do. And it's that conscious breathing that will allow the body to begin to relax and allow the mind to calm down and also relax. So having a nice full deep inhale and let your exhale be a little bit longer than the inhale. So really completely empty when you breathe out. Relax the muscles in the face. Relax the jaw. Feel open around the chest and heart. Feel the rise and fall of the chest and belly. As you breathe with ease. Low back is supported. And just trying to connect to what you're feeling, to how you're feeling. Allow the mind to connect to the present moment of your practice. And then connect to your breath. So from here, let's start by hugging the knees into the chest. So just draw both knees in, stretching out the low back. You can make some circles with the knees. You can sway left to right. Just notice what you feel in the back as you draw the knees in, maybe move them away. And then let's put the feet back down on the floor. Knees are bent. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead and pause here. Open the shoulders. Your low back can lift a little bit off the floor. You'll feel a little space there. That's okay. Try to feel open in the rib cage. Wider arms makes it easier. So if you can't have your arms parallel, that's okay. You can widen them. You can even bend the elbows. Feel the shoulder blades melting down the back. We'll 
take a nice full deep breath in and then as you exhale let's hug the knees into the chest so allow the body to move with your breath let's inhale again arms reach up feet lift and then exhale hug the knees into the chest Inhale again, arms reach, feet lift, soft bend the knees is fine, exhale, hug the knees in. One more time like that, inhale, arms reach up and back, feet lift, and then exhale, hug the knees in. This time you're going to inhale, bring the legs straight up, hands are going to reach straight up, soft knees. And just pause here for a moment in dead bug pose, right at the beginning of the pose. Just feel the blood flowing down the arms and legs, the lymph fluid flowing down. We're gonna start to point and flex the feet. We'll make some circles with the ankles. We'll also point and flex the wrists, so feeling your Wrists move just like as if you were pointing and flexing your feet. And then you can make some circles with the wrists in one direction and then the other. And just pausing here, you can wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes, and you can even shake out the arms, shake out the legs. So take one more really nice deep breath in here. And then let's exhale the knees into the chest. We'll take both feet down to the floor. Feet are going to go wide, so about mat width apart. Arms are going to reach away from each other along the floor, about shoulder height. As you take a deep breath in here, exhale, let your right, your legs drop over to the right. We'll turn the head over to the left. So just starting to stretch out the low back and the hips a little bit. Inhale, come back to center with the legs and the head. Exhale, legs go left, face can turn to the right. So just take a few of those on your own, using your in-breath to bring the legs back to center and the exhale, letting the legs drop to one side. Notice your inside leg. So when you're over to the left, notice your right knee reaching down and away from your right hip. You'll get a nice little stretch in the low back there. So move gently and carefully with the back, just starting to warm it up and get it moving a bit. Okay, we're gonna inhale, bring the legs back to center, bring your feet a little bit closer together and we'll reach for your strap. So again, if you have a yoga strap and it's put together, you're going to have your buckle away from you, the tail a little off center and going down, and you'll take the loop around your head, place your arms through so the strap is right at your upper back, underneath the armpits at your shoulder blades, and we're going to put the right foot in. If you're using a strap that's not a yoga strap, then just place the strap around the bottom of your foot and just hold gently onto each end of the strap. Try not to create any more tension in the shoulders just by holding the strap. So when you have your foot in and up, don't worry about the knee. The knee can be bent, does not need to be straight. You just want your foot reaching more up to the ceiling rather than towards the wall in front of you. If you feel comfortable in your low back, you can let your left leg go straight along the floor. If you have a yoga strap, your hands free, so you can just let your hands rest to the sides. If you're holding on to your strap, have a nice soft grip. And then let's just pause here. Close the eyes. Relax the muscles in the face. This is the beginning of the practice, it's a little bit more meditative, where we ease into very slow movements, holding poses a little bit longer, trying to really get the mind to focus on the moment, and when you're not moving, it's a little bit harder. So that's the practice.
practice here is to really bring the level of noise in the mind way down. So you can focus on the breath, you can focus on the physical body, noticing what you're feeling. Maybe it's the back, maybe it's the hamstring, maybe it's the back of the knee. Feel the bottom of the foot pressing into the strap. Feel the back of the right leg, maybe begin to soften, lengthen, and relax. So let's take one more nice deep breath in here, really fill up, and then a full breath out to completely empty. We're going to bend the left knee so the left foot is on the floor. The left knee is going to open to the left. You can place your left hand on your left hip for a little more support. And we're just going to guide the right leg over to the right a little bit. So it doesn't have to go too far. You can adjust your strap if you need to tighten or loosen. And then again, we put our body into a shape where we're trying to find a release in tension, a softness in the tight muscles, and a sense of letting go. So we find ourselves in that shape, then start to check in. How's your breath? Keeping the mind present and calm and quiet. Soft muscles in the face. Nice rise and fall of the chest and belly as you breathe. And then maybe checking in physically what you're feeling in the inner thigh, the outer thigh, the hip. Just feel the bottom of the foot pressing into the strap. Try to keep the exhale lengthened so that's a little bit deeper than the inhale. Take a nice full deep breath in. Exhale completely. And then we'll bring that right leg back to center. The left leg is going to go straight along the floor. Your right hand can rest on your right hip. Left hand can come to the side unless you're holding onto the strap. Soften your right knee here. So a little bend in the right knee. Then let the right leg start to reach over to the left. So just pause here as you start to come into the pose. Let your right shoulder stay down, the right hip stay down. You can turn your head over your right shoulder if you'd like. And then maybe you can try to start to straighten the right leg. Maybe you need to tighten the strap to give yourself a little bit more support. And then that nice, steady, easy breath. You can inhale to the count of four. And then you can exhale to the count of five. So sometimes counting your breath, the length of the breath, adds just another element of bringing the mind to connect to your practice and to bring the noise level down in the mind. Just get a little bit more quiet. Inhaling to four. And exhaling to five. Obviously the rate of your count is gonna be personal, depending on your lung capacity and how deeply you can breathe right now. But just having that number on either end is helpful. So we'll take a nice full deep breath in here. And a nice full deep breath out. And then we'll bring the leg back to center. Soften the knee when you bring the leg back. We'll bend the left knee so the left foot is on the floor. We're gonna take the foot out of the strap. You can just let the strap be. And then we'll take the right ankle, cross it over the left leg. We're gonna pause here for a moment. Gently let the whole shape of your leg sway left to right. 
So this can be small. Use your core to keep your torso stable. So you can feel the muscles in the core being strong here. And just the light movement of the legs left to right will start to open up the low back, the hip, and maybe even the top of the left thigh. And then once you come back to center after you've gone both sides a few times, you have a couple options here. If you have a very tight hip, just stay. Let your right hand rest on the right knee. A little deeper, draw the left foot in towards your seat. A little deeper is reaching for the back of the left thigh and draw the left knee in towards the chest. So pausing there to start, relaxed feet lengthened back of the neck, shoulders away from the ears, and then maybe just a gentle sway left to right with the shape of the legs. Noticing if you pause to the left, you can draw your left knee in towards your left shoulder. Once you're there, breathe deeply, maybe the count of four when you inhale, and exhaling to the count of five, noticing how you can let go of tightness in the right hip and feel secure and grounded in the low back. If you would like to just change the shape and add on a little bit, you can let the shape of the legs come back to the center. You can flex your right foot We'll send the left foot up towards the ceiling with an extended flex foot. You can stay right there. This is just an add-on and you're going to have to take it. You can lift your head and upper back off the floor if you'd like. And then maybe you take your hands out from behind the thigh and bring them up a little higher. Maybe you're behind the calf or the ankle. Pull the shoulders gently down away from the ears and draw your belly button down towards your spine. Pause here, and then here, with a strong core, maybe just a gentle sway left to right. So the core really needs to be active so you don't go too far over and rock all the way over. So try to stay grounded in the center, but just a little sway left to right with the whole shape of the body. Take one more nice deep breath in here. And then as you exhale, let's release. Let the head come down, let the left foot come down. Here, we're gonna come into a spinal twist. So the full expression of the pose is the right thigh crosses over the left. Hips scoot over to the right. Arms reach away from each other, legs drop to the left. If that feels like too much all of a sudden in the low back, then just uncross the legs and let the legs just stack gently on top of each other. If that still feels like too much, lift the right leg off of the left and just let the right foot come down to the floor with the right knee upright. So a little bit less of a twist here. So you can decide how deep you want to go. And then again, once you're there, find that easy breath. Maybe even adding the count to your breath. Feel the rise and fall, especially in the belly as you breathe. You can energetically take your right hip and just reach it away from your right shoulder as you open up the low back on the right side. We're opening up the rib cage around the lungs, especially on the right. Notice the expansion that you feel in the lungs, not just in the front of the body, but also in the sides and the back. Take a deep, full breath in here. And then as you exhale, let's bring the legs back to center. Uncross the legs if they're crossed, even out the hips. We're gonna hug the knees into the chest. We'll take three breaths here. Inhale, arms reach up and back. 
feet lift, really open and fill up. Exhale, hug the knees into the chest, option to lift the forehead to the knees. Inhale, arms reach, feet lift. Exhale, hug the knees in. One more time, just like that. Inhale, arms reach, feet lift. And exhale, hug the knees in. We'll take both feet down to the floor with the knees bent. We'll reach for your strap. Again, if you have a yoga strap, the buckle is away from you. The loop is up on your upper back. The left foot is coming into the loop. If you're holding on to just a strap, a nice soft grip. So pause here to settle into the pose. The knee does not need to be straight. Begin to feel the back of the left leg. Feel your back and hips grounded down. Arms are relaxed. If you'd like to extend the right leg along the floor, you can. So once we're in the pose, just take a few moments here to completely let go. Start to notice your breathing. Let the mind quiet down. Focusing on just this moment in this space. Our body in this shape and feeling what you feel. The sensation of the temperature of the air on your skin, what the strap feels like on the bottom of the left foot. So just checking in and noticing. Keep the breath flowing with ease. We're letting go of tightness in the muscles that are connected to some tightness that we might feel in the low back. It's also really good for circulation, the lymphatic system, for the blood flow. Take a nice, full, deep breath in here. And then as you exhale, so we're gonna bend the right knee so the right foot comes on the floor. Your right hand is gonna come onto the right hip. The right knee is gonna open to the right. Left leg will just start to open to the left. So keeping it relatively straight, doesn't have to go too far. Just starting to open up the inner thigh, the outer hip. Nice flexed foot, relaxed hands, arms and shoulders. Allowing some softness in the pose. So allowing the strap to offer support so that you can completely let go. full, easy, deep breath in, and exhaling to empty completely, and even a little bit more. On your next exhale, we'll bring the left leg back to center. The right leg is gonna go straight along the floor in front of you. Left hand will rest on your left hip. We're gonna soften the left knee and let the left leg reach over to the right to start. The left shoulder stays down, the left hip stays down. You can even turn your head to the left. So once you begin to feel what you're feeling here in the IT band, the outside of the leg, you can start to extend the left leg. Maybe it goes straight, maybe it doesn't, that's okay. Use the strap for support. And then 
then use your breath to let go of that tightness that you're feeling. So taking in relaxation, calm and quiet, and then letting go of tightness, tension, noise, just let it go. So just try to find a softness here in this pose, even though physically you might be feeling the tightness and what's hard and difficult. So breathing with ease, Take a nice, full, deep breath in, and then a full, deep breath out. We'll bring the left leg back to center, soft knee. The right foot will come down to the floor with a bent knee. Left ankle crosses over the left leg. I'm sorry, the left ankle crosses over the right leg, right above the knee. Pause here, and we'll gently sway the shape of your legs left to right. So just getting a little bit of movement here throughout the hips, into the low back. These movements can be small or big, it's up to you. Just move slowly and gently. And after a few times on both sides, we'll come back to center, pause, and then you can either just stay here, letting your left knee open. You can bring the bottom of your right foot Closer, keeping it on the floor, but closer to your seat. Or you can lift the right foot off the floor as you reach for the back of your right thigh and draw the right knee in towards your chest. Once you find this shape, let's have a gentle sway left to right, beginning to let go of the hip. Then you can even pause over to the right if you'd like and draw the right knee in a little bit more towards the right shoulder. And just breathing here with ease, relaxing the shoulders down away from the ears. Feel the length in the back of the neck. If you'd like to add on, you can bring the shape of the legs back to center, flexing the left foot, flexed right foot as you lift the right foot up towards the ceiling. Continuing to add on if you want to, lifting the head and upper back off the floor, belly draws down, and then you can go a little bit further, take the hands maybe a little higher up the leg, Try to draw the shoulders away from the ears, belly in and down. And then just to challenge your balance a little bit, maybe you sway left to right, noticing if you go too far, your belly draws in and down to bring you back up, or you just fall to one side, which is okay. So trying to find that steady sense of center and balance and inner strength. Take one more nice deep breath in here, and then as you exhale, relax the head down on the floor, let the right foot come down to the floor. So coming into that spinal twist, left thigh can cross over the right thigh, scoot the hips over to the left a little bit, and let the legs drop over to the right. If that feels like too much, you can uncross the legs and modify in any way that feels good for your body and your back. Arms can reach away from each other. You can turn your head over your left shoulder. And breathe deeply. Lengthening through the spine lengthening through the left side of the body, opening up the rib cage so you can fully expand the lungs.
feel the rise and fall of the belly as you breathe. Staying open through the chest and grounded through the shoulders. Just finding that nice, steady, easy, deep breath. Take a full breath in. And then as you exhale, let's bring the legs back to center. Uncross them. We'll even out the hips, hug the knees into the chest. Rock gently left to right. And then if you'd like, you can roll to one side and press yourself up to sit. Or you can rock front to back a few times and then use that momentum to rock yourself up to sit. Once you come to sit, we're gonna transition right to hands and knees. So if you'd like to put something underneath your knees for a little extra support, you can. We'll move the strap out of the way for now. So coming on to hands and knees, we're gonna widen the knees about mat width apart. Big toes are gonna touch. We're gonna inhale, lift the chin, open up the chest, drop the belly, and then exhale, sink the hips back towards your heels, let the head drop. Inhale, lift and come back up, wide knees, open up the chest, lift the chin, exhale, pull back, just let your hips sink down towards your heels, head can drop, arms reach way out in front, one more time like that. Inhale, lift and open through the chest and the chin, and then exhale, pull back and pause here in child's pose. Let the head drop down, hands can reach way out in front, fingertips can be pressed down into the floor, the pads of the fingers, hands can be tented, forearms lifted, or palms can be down, forearms can be down. Just see what feels better for you in the shoulders and the back. Lengthen through the neck. And then lifting the head off the floor a little bit, we're just going to walk both of the hands over to the right. You can let your head drop. It might not touch the floor. That's okay. And then just Press down with your left hip, opening up the underside of the left shoulder and the left rib cage and the low back on the left. If your head's on the floor, let's lift it. Walk the hands back to center all the way over to the left. Reach, maybe the head drops down, doesn't have to. Really press the right hip down, opening up the low back and underneath your right shoulder. And then we'll walk the hands back to center, lift the hips, come on to tabletop, bring the knees more parallel so they're underneath your hips. So here we're gonna take three breaths Inhaling to lift the chin just gently, but then exhale, really push the floor down and round the back. Tuck the chin, even get into the neck. Inhaling, just gently drop the belly and lift the chin. Exhaling, tuck the chin, really focusing on rounding the back here, creating space in between the shoulder blades. And then one more time like that. Inhale, lift and open and exhale, tuck in round. Okay, we're gonna come to neutral spine here. You're gonna step your right foot back so the toes are down on the floor, and you're gonna step your left foot back, toes are down on the floor. You're in a plank pose here. Your shoulders are over your wrists. Your belly is drawn in nice and strong. 
If you need to drop the knees, you can. We're breathing deeply. I'm gonna give you an option here. Option one, you can drop the left knee, pivot the left foot to the left, roll to the arch of your right foot, and lift the right hand up towards the ceiling. Or, you're in plank, you roll to the outside of your pinky on the left, and the inside of your arch on the right, and you lift your right hand up towards the ceiling. So see what feels better. You're either in a plank pose, side plank, or left knee is down, modified side plank. Either one, you're breathing, feeling super strong and powerful here. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, we're coming back to plank pose. So you're on your toes here right to the other side. So you're either rolling to the outside of your right foot, inside of the left foot, so you're kind of heel to toe here, left hand reaches up towards the ceiling, or the right knee comes down, and you're modified. So see what pose works for you, building some strength through the shoulders, through the core, through the arms. Beautiful. Take a deep breath in, and then exhale, come back. You're in plank pose, drop the knees, child's pose. Let the tops of the hands rest by your feet. So maybe the knees are a little bit narrower than wide, it's up to you. Relax the shoulders, maybe make some circles with the wrists. Pause and breathe. So the beginning of the practice was very meditative, slow, a deep release, and now we're looking to find a little bit more strength in the body. Getting the muscles fired up a little bit, getting the bones stronger, but still keep that easy breath and that quiet mind. Stay connected. Okay, we're gonna come back onto hands and knees. So this time, we're gonna move the hands forward, or you might need to bring the knees back, it's up to you. You're gonna move the hands forward so that your shoulders are over your wrists and you're in a modified plank here. So if you were to curl your toes under and lift the knees, you'd be in plank. That's how far back the knees are gonna be. Knees are down, tops of the feet are on the floor. We're gonna move with the breath. These movements don't need to be big. Take a full breath in. As you exhale, bend the elbows towards the back of the room. There's a straight line between the crown of your head and your tailbone. Inhale, push back up, straight line. Exhale, hips reach back. Let's do that again. Inhale, shoulders over wrists, knees are down. Exhale, bend the elbows to lower the chest a little bit, doesn't have to be a lot. Inhale, push back up. Exhale, hips go back. One more time like that. Inhale, shoulders over wrists. Exhale, bend the elbows to lower down. Inhale, push back up. Exhale, hips go back. Okay, I'm gonna show you a, a, this version a little more challenging if you'd like to give it a shot. Shoulders over wrists. Curl the toes under, lift the knees. Deep breath in. As you exhale, bend the elbows to lower down a little bit. Inhale, push back up. Exhale, Hips go back, downward dog, soft knees. So the knees can be down. Let's do two more like that if you can. Inhale, shoulders over wrists. You can have the knees down if you want. Exhale, bend the elbows to lower. Inhale, push back up. Exhale, hips go back. One more time, knees up or down, up to you. Inhale, shoulders over wrists. Exhale, bend the elbows to lower. Inhale, push back up. Exhale, hips go back and pause. You're either pausing in a child's pose or pausing in a downward dog, wherever you want to be. 
We're just going to take three breaths here. So full breath in, full breath out. Inhaling and exhaling. One more deep breath in. And then as you exhale, we're going to come onto hands and knees. So either lower the knees in downward dog or lift the hips to come into table if you're in child's pose. So we're really looking for a lot of inner strength here. We're going to bring both forearms down to the floor. Let each uh, fingertip touch each other. So thumb to thumb, finger pinkies, gently touching each other. So you're in like a modified prayer pose. There's space in between your palms. Forearms are down, elbows are down, knees are down to start. We're going to step the right foot back, toes down left foot back toes down so if you need to bring the knees down you can think about the space between the shoulders and the ears draw the belly in and up feel the space between your shoulder blades so your shoulders aren't collapsing towards each other neck is nice and long your breath is flowing with ease Just take a few moments here, find that connection, find that quiet mind, notice what you're feeling, sensation of the skin on the mat, the strength of your core, holding your body supported and strong. Find that deep inhale and even a deeper exhale. We'll take one more nice deep breath in, and then as you exhale, drop the knees, walk the hands back, child's pose. You can let your hands come by your ankles, forehead drops down, completely relax the shoulders. Reconnect. and breathe. So from here, we're going to come up to a standing forward bend. So the knees are down on the floor. You're going to lift the knees, curl the toes under, and rock back onto your feet. So you're hanging in a forward bend. You can hold on to the outsides of your elbows. Whatever you need to do. And breathe. Maybe sway left to right a little bit. I'm adjusting my camera so we can, you can see me when we stand. Okay, so when you're ready, take your time and gently come all the way up to stand. So take your time to roll up. Letting the head come up last. Once you're standing, let's take three breaths. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. And exhale, let the arms come out and down. Two more like that, inhale. Arms reach out and up, and exhale, coming down. I feel like we're we've lost people. I'm not sure what's happening. Inhale, arms reach out and up, and exhale, arms come down. Okay, from here, we're just gonna open up the side body a little bit, which is really conditioning for the lungs. So we'll take both arms, reach them up overhead. Take your right hand, hold on to your left wrist, relax both shoulders, and we're just gonna side lean over to the right. So really opening up the side body here, opening up the lungs and the ribs. 
breathing deeply. You can let your feet go a little wider if you feel like you need a little more support. Relaxing through the neck. Let's inhale, come back to center. Switch the left hand onto the right wrist and then side lean over to the left. Relax the shoulders. Really open up the sides. Breathe deeply. Good. Inhale, let's come back up and release the arms. Okay, so we're gonna work on a little bit of balancing today. So we're gonna start with just tree, a simple tree pose. So tree I find is one of the easiest poses to start with because it doesn't need to be still and it doesn't need to be full express, fully expressed. So the right foot's gonna come down, the left toes start on the floor and the left knee opens. Hips are both facing forward lengthen through the spine. We're just gonna take the arms out and up. Relax the shoulders, soft elbows. Draw the belly in. Lift your right toes a little bit. So let's wiggle them around so you're not gripping the toes. Then you can go deeper if you'd like. You can place the bottom of your left foot against your standing leg anywhere except a joint. So not on the ankle joint, not on the knee joint. Right on the calf or up into the inner thigh. So see what feels good for you, find your balance. And then play around a little bit with it. Maybe you sway left to right. So it's just changing the center of gravity here, which really challenges the balance. Maybe you change your gaze and you take your face and look up towards your ceiling. And if you really wanna challenge your balance, you can try Closing your eyes. And then when you're ready, let's ease out of the pose together. Let's bring the palms together in front of the heart center. And then gently let that left foot come down. Good. Let's shake out the standing leg a little bit. And then we'll switch sides. The left foot is grounded down. The left knee opens with the left foot down on the floor. We'll lift the arms up. Relax shoulders, soft elbows. Belly is in. You can find a place along your standing leg for the foot if you'd like, or the toes can stay down. And then you can play around. Maybe you sway left to right. Feeling the opening again in the side ribs, changing your balance, changing your center. Maybe you change the gaze and look up towards the ceiling. And maybe you try to close your eyes. And then let's come back together, palms together in front of the heart center. And then we'll let that right foot come down. Okay, so we're gonna start um, coming to the top of your mat so you have some space. We're gonna let your right foot be the one that starts. The right foot is down. Your left knee is gonna lift. Hands are at your heart center. Find your balance. Inhale, lift the fingertips up towards the ceiling, draw the belly in, get a little taller. Exhale, hinge at the hips, send your hands back and that left foot back. Inhale, follow your breath. Lift the knee, arms reach. Exhale, ride the breath back, reaching back. If you need to put the foot down or modify in any way you can. One more time like that. Inhale, lift the knee, lift the arms, bellies in, and then exhale, hands reach back behind you, left foot goes straight back, 
And then when you come back to center, hands come to the heart center, lift the left knee, pause. Lots of strength in the bones, in your right thigh, your right leg. And then let's drop the left foot. Whew. You can shake out the right leg. And then we'll switch sides. Left foot down on the floor, right knee lifts. Inhale, hands lift towards the ceiling. Exhale, right foot goes back, hands reach back. Have a soft bend in the left knee, that'll help. Inhale, forward, lift the right knee, arms reach up. Exhale, hands reach back, right foot goes back. One more time. Inhaling, lift, exhaling, bring the right foot back, reach the hands back. We'll come back to center, left foot down, right knee lifted, hands at the heart center. Take a full breath in, and then as you exhale, drop the right foot. Shake out the left leg, and take your time transitioning back down onto your back. So come down onto your back, hug your knees into your chest. Oh, rock left to right. Let's take three breaths together here. Inhale, arms reach up and back. Feet lift. Exhale, hug the knees into the chest. Inhale, arms reach up, feet lift. Exhale, hug the knees in. One more time, just like that. Inhale, arms reach, feet lift. And exhale. Hug the knees in. We're going to come into wide knees, coming in towards the chest. If you can reach for your feet, we'll come into happy baby. If you need to modify, just hold on underneath the knees. Let your feet be lifted. Maybe you hold on to the ankles. So this pose is a final deep release of the shoulders the hips, the muscles around the hips, the thighs. You can sway left to right, lengthening through the spine, the low back. And then from here, Hug the knees back into the chest, and then lower the feet down and prepare for Shavasana. So Shavasana, final relaxation pose. You can be laying down flat on the back. You can put something underneath the knees if you'd like for a little extra support. You can let your arms be on the floor, out to the sides, palms up. Just take a few moments here to find that feeling of connecting to the present moment. So notice what you're feeling. Notice how you're feeling. Let the mind be quiet. around the eyes all relax relax the jaw so there's space between the top teeth and the bottom teeth so 
soften through the neck and shoulders. Being open around the heart. Feel the rise and fall of the chest and belly as you breathe. Relax the arms. Relax the hands, feeling the fingers just gently curling in as if holding on to the positive energy in the palms that you've created in this space. be grounded, but free from any tightness and tension. Let the legs just be heavy. Relaxing the feet and the toes. and the wrists and the feet and the ankles. And then we'll slowly and gently bend one knee at a time, placing one foot on the floor and then the other. To ease into the back, draw one knee into the chest and then the other. Gently roll to one side and then press yourself up to sit. And then once you come to sit, we'll bring the palms together in front of your heart center. And remember that we are all connected. Not only are we here with each other, but we're here for each other. Namaste. I'm going to come and unmute you guys. Hold on. <laughs>